Hello friends, welcome to another practice question of polynomials. This is the 24th question in the series and uh, I will strongly urge you to go back and watch the previous 23 as well. The link to the entire playlist is down there in the description for your reference. Now look at this question. It says if the polynomial f of x which is this big x4 x to the power 4 minus 6x cubed plus 16x squared minus 25x plus 10 if this is divided by another polynomial which is x square minus 2x plus k let me call this as g of x the remainder comes out to be x plus a find k and find a this is an ncrt textbook questions and this is one of the best questions in uh, this is one of the best questions to know and understand polynomials completely okay this is an awesome question you all should follow this uh, really well because it covers all the concepts which are there in the polynomial question so it has factor theorem it has division it has everything okay now let's start solving this one I'll be very slow so this might be a lengthy video so please bear with me if f of x is divided by another polynomial which I am calling as g of x and this is the remainder I do not know of the quotient then I know that f of x is equal to some polynomial p of x or let me call this as the quotient polynomial q of x multiplied by g of x which is given to me plus the remainder which is r of x okay which is x plus a now if i subtract f of x i subtract r of x from f of x this becomes a perfect factor i mean the remainder should be equal to zero right so q of x multiplied by g of x should give me this okay q of x and g of x are both perfect factors of f of x minus r of x and if i do if i try to find q of x by doing f of x minus r of x first and dividing it by g of x the remainder will be equal to 0 I know that the remainder will be 0 because the actual remainder we have already subtracted so the remainder will be equal to 0 now if you have understood this much clearly we should proceed in fact if you haven't understood this clearly go back to in the video go back 20 30 or seconds or one minute and understand why this remainder should be equal to 0 okay if this remainder is equal to 0 what will happen is you will actually get some remainder when you solve this question okay you'll get two terms okay you might get something like uh, let's say capital p into x plus some constant numbers q this you have to equate to zero to get the values of k and a okay so the first step is to do fx minus rx okay fx minus rx fx is this big polynomial minus rx it will be uh, x to the power of 4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 25x plus 10 minus of rx okay which means minus of x minus of a so this 25x will become minus of 26x and this 10 will become 10 minus a rest everything in fx remains same okay rest everything remains the same now this value okay this value is our fx minus rx this value is fx minus rx and this value I have to divide by g of x so let's do that okay g of x is x square minus 2x plus k g of x is x square minus 2x plus k plus k plus k and this will divide x to the power of 4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square minus 26x plus 10 minus of a okay this is what we have to divide now I'll be very slow in this division because there is a variable k and there is a variable a as well here okay and k will come all through the equation here 
So to get the first x to the power 4, I divided, multiplied by x square. So it becomes x to the power of 4 minus of 2x cube plus of k, k times of x square. Now I subtract this. This becomes 0. Minus of 6 plus of 2 becomes minus of 4 x cube plus 16 minus k. I will write as 16 minus k into x square plus 26x minus sorry plus 10 minus a. Okay. Let me go down further. Now x square I multiply this with minus of 4x. Okay. So this becomes minus of 4x cube this is plus 8x square plus 8x square plus 26x plus sorry sorry this won't come here okay so I have minus of 4x into plus 2x I have minus of 4x into plus of k it will be minus 4kx so it will be minus 4kx okay now I subtract this this gets cancelled with this so this becomes 0 16 minus k minus 8x square will become 8 minus k into x square and this term will be 26 plus 4k okay this will be 20 I'm sorry I made a mistake here this is actually a minus 26 so this will be uh, minus 26 minus and minus is plus so plus 4k x plus 10 minus of a okay this is what we have now I have to get 8 minus k into x square here so when I do a 8 minus k i am now putting 8 minus k in the numerator uh, sorry in the quotient part okay so when i do an 8 minus k here what i get is 8 minus of k into x square now this is minus 26 plus 4k x and this will become this will become minus 2 into so let me put this as let me put this as plus and this will become 8 to the minus 16 so this will be minus of 16 and minus k into plus 2 so it will become a plus 2k and this whole thing is into x and here also this actually is the whole thing is into x and then I have plus of k into 8 minus k now I have to subtract this so this becomes this cancels and this becomes 0 now you have to be very careful of the plus minus in fact I myself might made, might make a mistake here so this is minus of 26 plus of 4k plus of 16 minus 2k into x and if I subtract this minus this I get plus of 10 minus a minus of 8k minus of 8k plus of k square now remember this is my remainder okay I will just give you a moment to understand this uh, properly Okay, I'll just give you a moment to understand this properly. If now this is equal to 0, let me solve this bracket first. So I have minus 26 and plus of 16. Okay, so this becomes minus of 10. And this is 4k minus 2k. So it will become plus of 2k into x. And if I take this term, it will be this term is 10 minus a minus 8k 10 minus a minus 8k 
I cannot simplify this any further plus k square. Okay, now this, I'm sorry, this is not a whole square here, this is a whole square here. Okay, now this is my remainder. Okay, this is my r of x. Okay, but this remainder should be equal to 0. Okay, this should be equal to 0 because the, the, the divisor and the dividend that is fx and gx, the fx is actually, this is fx minus rx. Okay, so this is a perfect factor which means this remainder is 0 and if this remainder is 0 this term has to be 0 along with x whatever this term is this has to be 0 and this term also has to be equal to 0 so we will separately equate these two to 0 if I equate this to 0 what I get is 2k minus 10 is equal to 0 and this gives you k is equal to 10 by 2 which is equal to 5 so value of k we have received which is 5 now I equate this bracket to 0. So this will become 10 minus a minus 8k plus k square is equal to 0. Okay. Now I don't know a. So a will be as it is. And k I know is 5. So minus 8 into 5 is minus of 40. And plus of 25 is equal to 0. And I get a minus. Sorry, this is minus of a. And 10 and 25 is 35 minus of 40 is minus of 5 is equal to 0 which means a is equal to minus of 5 and this is the solution to the question that is the value of k is equal to 5 and the value of k a is equal to minus of 5 this was an excellent question i will strongly urge you to follow this question really well it actually covers all the concepts okay of uh, the polynomials chapter i hope you found the solution useful do like share comment and subscribe in case you want me to solve any other questions for you do put down your queries at the whatsapp number mentioned in the description till then keep working hard keep practicing hard cheers and god bless